Hi everyone, it's Lisa Brown with InkandInspirations.com. Thanks for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to give you an idea for your 2014 holiday packaging for a little gift with an idea that I found in the annual catalog from Stampin' Up! So let's take a look. When I saw this little box here using one of our decorative window gift boxes on page 151 of the annual catalog, I thought, oh, that would be cute for the holidays. So let me show you how I put it together. Here I have one of the boxes that's not put together yet, and I've marked with an X the areas that we're going to cut off. So it's going to be this area here, and then this top tab here. So let me get my snips and go ahead and take those off. The idea book and catalog, and really all of our catalogs, have lots and lots of great ideas that you can look at and make your own. Just use the idea. And so that's what I've done here with this little box. And it really makes almost like a gift bag. And I thought, oh my goodness, that would be so cute for tucking in some candy or goodies for the holidays. So... I'm going to show you how I put that together. Okay, I've already done this, but you're going to want to fold on all of those score lines so that it puts together easily. And for the bottom here, okay, I put the top, the big part down, and then the two flaps on the side, and then tuck in that little tab there, okay? And that's going to be the back of the box. So now, since we've cut off this part here, we need to adhere the front with the decorative window to these two sides. So I'm going to do that. And using some Tombow liquid glue, you could use uh, other adhesive too, but for this particular project, this worked the easiest for me. And it gave me a chance to move it around before it actually set. So I'm going to hold that there for a minute. And let me show you the uh, completed box here that I've done for the sample. Here's one and I've used um, some images and a sentiment from the Mini Mary Stars uh, kit that's in the holiday supplement. I've got some silver metallic ribbon and going around the edges I've got uh, some of our, our, our designer paper that's in the holiday catalog. For this one, I've got a strip of the gold soiree, and it's cut the full 12 inches at one half inch, okay? And I'm going to use that to just border the top. It's a good size to go around the edges, and so I'm going to take my Tombow adhesive and just do a thin line of adhesive going around. Ideally, you would let your sides set there and get a good hold before you try to do this next step. Okay, so then I like to start at the back here. And that was an oops, putting that wet glue down on my surface. So let me remedy that so I don't have another one. <laughs> okay, and then I take this and I just fold it around bending at the corners as I go. And there again, it would be easier if I let it dry, but I'm going to try to get it together just so you can see how it fits. Okay, so just like that, and then when you would want to put a little bit of adhesive right here on the overlap, and and then, now I'm going to leave it alone so it can sit pretty. So what I think I'm going to do is I um, took a piece of our craft card stock that comes in 12 by 12 and I cut a piece an inch wide by uh, 10 inches long and then I'm going to use my brads again to adhere that to the sides to make a handle. Here I use some of our antique brads there and I can use the gold ones here to attach that. And I have this uh, little ornament that I had um, created for a Makeover Monday project that's on my blog. And I'm just going to add that right here in the center with a little mini glue dot so that it can be removed and used as a Christmas ornament. 
Okay, so there's an idea for you. I hope you'll give it a try. Wouldn't that be a cute little package just filled with some holiday treats? I hope you'll give it a try. And if you have some questions, you can leave it here on YouTube in the comment section below or visit my blog at inkandinspirations.com and leave a comment there. So thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you again soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.